people know I think constantly. And in, keep, and in keeping in that theory, I got about 10 minutes to tell you about this movie plot I have in my head. You got this guy who stumbles upon a cure for cancer. Now, his friend has uh, some kind of cancer and, um, you know, this guy is, he's doing something in the kitchen and something happens and he ends up, he accidentally puts a, a household cleaner in some food. Some, you know, a mistake. You know, this guy walks up and goes to the kitchen. Next thing you know, he, he drinks the soup and the guy remembers, wait a minute, that was not, oh my God. And he rushes in there and finds out that this is the cure for cancer, whatever. This is a movie plot, so don't take this as some guy's wild, fantastic idea and go out and drink some fucking uh, household cleans or shit. This is a plot for a movie. It's called The Mistake or some shit like that. So this guy's friend with the cancer accidentally drinks this soup that this guy's put this stuff in, you know, on accident. And, um, you know, it's cold out here. And he cures his cancer. And the whole movie... He's telling people how to cure cancer and, he, and the corporations are shutting him down because the medical system is corrupt because they want to, you know, sell you treatments for disease. And not only if people found out that if they did simple household things or whatever or did some stuff, you know, they would be disease free or whatever. It's a big old, you know, subplot thing going on in the movie. And the whole movie... This guy is trying to enlighten people, but he's being rejected. You know what I mean? It's one of those movies where someone's telling the truth, but the whole movie, almost until the very end and the last second of the movie, and when shit's going down, the guy says, he was right. But it's too late to save people. That's what I'm saying. That's a movie plot story. Like, you know what, the way things are going right now in Hollywood, I think you should get Will Smith to do it. I remember one time they was talking about Will Smith for this one movie. It's called The Evolution of Water where Will Smith was going to act like water. Yeah, he probably would have got an Oscar for that one, but um, you probably never hear nothing about that movie. Until then, you've been too. Hey, I got all kind of movie ideas and thoughts. Yeah, that about, about Which one? Oh, the one's about, oh, wow. I got this movie idea. It's called Race War. Off the hook. You got these neo-Nazis, and you got these Black Panther types, and these guys are fighting to the death. And then in, near the end of the movie, there's this other group of people that is instigating the whole thing. They come in to kill both these two factions. But you have these little, you know what? I can't even tell this story. Because this one right here would be a big time money maker. You have this little black kid and this little white kid, you know? And you have them, like, be French for a little kid, you know? And then they're separated. And they're, like, they're each, like, one's the leader of the Nazis. And they're, like, one's the leader of the blacks, you know? And then all of a sudden, they're at the end of the movie. They have to come together to fight against the suits. Did I say that gay enough? Yeah. You think that, you know, get the Hollywood money if I act gay? Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me gay it up to get the Hollywood money. Oh, you have the gays, you know? I mean, not the gays. <clears throat> Let me do this. You have the straight going in. <laughs> huh. Yeah, like there's the blacks versus the um, you know, the Aryans, you know, and they're fighting to the death and then all of a sudden, you know, the school of kids, you know, from the past who are friends, you know, know that this guy's the leader of the whites and then he you know, the other guy says, you know, this guy's the leader of the blacks, you know, we're all dying, you know, they're killing someone, you know, it's like like the like the opening scene of the movie. It's like here's the opening scene, like you got it, like you have like his these white guys like you know, saw swastikas all over their bodies, you know, like attacking these black guys, like chopping them with machetes and stuff, you know, like, you know, cutting their bodies up, you know, pulling their faces apart, you know, just getting massacring these black guys. And then he's like, he's like, you know, you see on the other side of town, these black guys, you know, they're like doing the same thing to the white guys, you know, killing them and shit, slicing their throats and stuff. And they're like, hey, you know, I got the last one. It's like, yeah, I got the last one. Then all of a sudden he's like, this white guy, he's running, you know, and then you see, all of a sudden his head explodes, but pow, explosion, you know, like it's blown, his head is blown off his body, and then it's like falls to the ground and stuff. And all of a sudden these people, in suits, which are all different colors. Not just one color of people wear suits. They're both colors wearing suits. The suits are out there to try to kill the Aryans and, you know, the blacks. And it's all crazy, you know, because if you're not wearing a suit, 
Then he has to kill like the Aryans and then blacks, and it was all crazy, like you know, like world war, you know, all over, you know, Aryans versus blacks versus suits versus Aryans versus blacks, and there's like battle to the death, like you know, in the end, you know, and there's like the two kids from the past, you know, who are friends, you know, the black kid, the white kid, who are friends, you know, one's the uh, leader of the Aryans and one is the leader of blacks, they come together in the end to fight against the suits, and then all the suits are like, you know, we're just you guys, but like, you know, you know, they've changed, you know, you became part of the system, you know, it's like, you know, all the Aryans who hate the blacks and all the black who hate Aryans all together in one fight against the power structure, you know, it's cool. I had that as an idea for a movie, but you don't understand that. I also had one where the aliens are coming down, fueling the race war. That one was pretty sinister. It was like, you know, and then it needs the half breeze to fix that one. I don't know. They weird ass fucking plot movies and shit. I'm a thinker. I think, therefore, I can. So, I don't know. Why don't you tell me one of your movie plots? I got this other one. I got another one. I, you know what? I can tell you these movie plots over and over and over again. So next year, when you see a science fiction blockbuster, you know, on you know TNT or something, or science fi you see the fucking shit on TV, you know who thought of this shit first. You think I'm bullshitting. You know, people think I'm bullshitting, man. Bottom line is, man, I don't be bullshitting. I'm trying to tell the truth. You got to tell the truth. So, tell me your favorite movie plot that you had in your mind. Hey, that's the challenge in this video. Because that movie plot, you have... Like I said, you have, you have the blacks and the Aryans, you know, they both together, you know, fighting united against the suits. And then after the final battle, you know, so all of a sudden there's other races come out of nowhere, like the Mexicans and the Chinese and the Jews. Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, it'll be like one of those epic movies. You can do it like the Planet of the Apes, you know, where everyone's divided. It's like the apocalypto world, you know, it's like the blacks and Aryans fighting to death. And all of a sudden there's a new faction, the suits, who are... Oh yeah, there. Here's the last, the last movie idea I had. Right now, America is expanding. Now this is. I don't know if you want to make this a comedy, or would would you have this a comedy or? Is, yeah, this would have to be a comedy. Yeah. yeah. Another choice. Okay. Bigfoot. This is a movie idea, right? The United States government decides to expand America, but since we couldn't go north or south to Canada or down to Mexico, America decides to open up territories inside America that haven't been open before to Americans to populate. So there's one part somewhere near the mountains or whatever over there, they open up this land for America's the homestead, right? And this is the only part where Bigfoot actually exists. So Bigfoot has no place else to live because now they're gonna start building apartments and houses and America's expanding into places it didn't. So Bigfoot comes out and he actually speaks English. It'll be like unleashing a seven foot Geico caveman old motherfuckers who's talking about, you know what, we have no place to live. You know, you put Indians on the reservations. Can you please give us like a place so we Bigfoots can live? It's only like He's yeah, yeah, he's worth yeah. There's only like two thousand Bigfoots or some shit. He's like, there's only like two thousand of us, you know. And the women are hairy and ugly, you know. He's telling jokes the whole. I don't know if the Bigfoot thing will work. I don't know, but it would be sick that Bigfoot has to live amongst us because there's no place for him to live. So instead of trying to hide for the rest of his life, he just says, "Fucks it." He comes out on a talk late night talk show circuit to let people know, you know, I am real and I do speak, you know. 125 languages, <laughs> you know what I mean, I can read, blah, 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 yada, yada, and he just wants to be left alone, that would be the funniest movie of the year, starring Adam Sandler as, like, the representative for the Bigfoot people, he'd be the shortest Bigfoot in the whole thing, they call him Little Height, I don't know, you know, you figure it out, I don't know, I don't know, that's another movie idea. Like I said, give me your best movie idea. Or no, not your best one. Just give me one of your movie ideas. Because I didn't give you guys my best movie ideas. But I will see you later. Um, I've done about like uh, 10 videos today. 
no more videos. Uh, go ahead and check out the He Ain't God videos on YouTube.